Hey everybody, Steven here, playing Subnautica Below Zero, and today we have some major things to cover. Um, three big things actually with this video, and the first one here is they've added in the initial pass for Research Base Omega for the interior, like, it's essentially the burn marks on everything, and then I covered this in the last video, nothing was floating, and so they've added that visual effect in as well. So let's bring out the flashlight here. So you can see the burn marks on all this, obviously we still have some issues that are going to need to be fixed some bugs, but right now we have the burn mark there. And then we're seeing paperwork and all this stuff just floating. Coffee cups, or mugs, right? And you can push this stuff out of the way. Chair. We'll go forward. I didn't check that. Yeah, well, there we go. That's a trip. <laughs> I'm sure they'll tweak that stuff. Yep. All this in here is floating. Looks really cool bedrooms back here got the pillow floating and all that not the music disc though even though that seems like it would be floating paperwork all right and then back here this is really where you're gonna see the burn marks from whatever explosion or fire happened inside of here um, it looks like the reactor exploded right so it looks like this thing, and I'm wondering if they're going to tweak this a little bit. You can't exit with this, but it's there. So I'm thinking they're going to tweak that, but we can scan for the fragments. But yeah, that thing destroyed everything in here. And then some things, and this is usually with their first pass and all of this, don't have the burn marks on them yet. But uh, it looks crazy in here. I like the visual of it now just uh, the little tidbits that we'll pick up with the story along the way wondering what uh, dialogue we'll see I haven't checked to see if anything new has been added with uh, Alan in regards to going in here but I didn't want to do that for this video not just yet all right so the next thing is we have a pass on the iceberg area the East Arctic over here and luckily I didn't do a separate video because I talked about it in the last video I wanted to, but it was actually a small amount that they changed. And now here we see a lot more has been done. So the outside texture of a lot of the icebergs have been updated. This actually seems like it's been made bigger, by the way. So this has been made bigger from what I can tell. And then we have all the little shelf ice in between now. So it's not just open. It's in a lot of different places. And certain icebergs actually have part of that shelf ice kind of attached to it, frozen to it. So it looks really, really good. Let's bring the weather back on, see what that looks like for a second. So I think, yeah, with the weather layered on top, it looks really good. Also means it, at least for floating up top, it's gonna to be a little bit more difficult to navigate. You will have to kind of travel underneath all of this in certain areas. And it wraps around. I mean, we got a lot more spots now over here. Wondering if they're going to add anything on top of these. Not 100% sure. This has been here, but now we're seeing more rocks on the top. The stuff that's attached to the icebergs. So it's not just plain. It's looking very natural and, and unique in its shape. And then there's another one over here. There's actually like a big chunk of ice on top. Yeah, here we go. So here's some of the new stuff that they've added to these two. Same thing makes it feel unique with it being overlapped like that. More natural. Also makes me want to build a base out here above ground and like connect all of them. <laughs> Got another big one over here that's been added. I don't remember this being in. I'll take that weather back off. So this chunk right here looks new. And I believe some of the ice around it. Not all of it. I do remember this being here. And I don't remember a snow stalker being right here. But that looks like a glitch. Luckily he can swim. Or she can swim. Maybe. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is going on with that animation? 
that needs to be fixed. <laughs> Alright, so we have that. Nothing around Marg's base. Um, or actually on top of it. The outside of it has actually been updated. But this is where you can tell that it's in process. So you'll see it, but it's kind of like patchy. Let me find a good area. Over here is right here. Where you can see like it's kind of there and then it's kind of not there. I don't think that's the final look that they're going to go for. I think they just start it and then they stop, see how it looks, and then move on to other things and then come back. We can see this around the bottom too. Where it's like partly there and then partly not. So I still think obviously it's being worked on. And I wonder if that boils down to they're still trying to feel out the look that they want to go for. Because ultimately I think a lot of these are going to end up having... The bottom portion looking like this and then that just gets done in stages right and you can see it on some of these I can find I know this one I believe this one has some of them see if it'll pop in when we get there we go so you can see like some of the lines that look to me like scratch marks almost so they start that process and then I think they just slowly whittle away at it so we have that. The uh, chunks of ice that were here are still gone. I'm, I'm really hoping they bring those back because they looked really cool. But those are gone. Um, the inside of this, I think it's this one, that hasn't been updated yet. So nothing new is in here. Although I'm wondering if we're going to find some type of precursor or uh, architect artifact. So same thing over there, you can see kind of the bottom is unfinished, but the top, and they'll just blend that together. And then outside here, same thing. We have a lot of the shelf ice stuff has been updated, trying to integrate it into the wall itself. So it's looking really, really good over here. So lots of detail work right now. Um, going down really quick though, the to me it looks like a crater down here. It looks like it's getting bigger, and I have no idea what they're going to put out here in kind of like this sparse arctic area. Now they've done work over there, I've highlighted that, but this kind of looks like it's getting bigger, so I'm hoping this isn't just unused. That would kind of suck. Now beyond that, the last thing that I want to cover, and it's really, really exciting, and you can see it all the way over there, they have finally done some work on uh, this side of the big tree spire biome and it looks like we're actually seeing the drop off to the world right here now and they've done a ton of work over here so they've fleshed this out and it looks and i've said this in other videos it, it looks very subnautica to me with this now um, i've said that about other things but when they do something um, and they finish it out like that's looking really, really good. I also like the fact that the walls here are not a shape we've seen used on the walls, right? This actually like jets out a lot further, very uneven. So they've actually updated this wall as well. And that looks really, really good. And then you can see it all right here, all these icebergs. So they've moved that one right there and then they actually have it. Yep. They have another one right here where it's like integrated into this other iceberg, which looks cool. But there are a lot out here. Now once you go over here, there's there's nothing on them at the moment. But, I mean, this is just looks really, really cool to me that this has been filled out. Uh, bring the clock back on. There we go. So it's looking more like when I was playing it initially, what I envisioned as I got closer to the end, it would look like, which is really cool. All right, let's bring that back off for a second. So with that, um, I'm also excited to build some bases up here. Like I just imagine connecting all of these with one large base that covers everything. This one, what? Come on. Certain things still loading really slow. 
the top. Ooh, this one actually has. Nice. Nice little cave system here. How do you get up there, though? Oh, wow. Uh, surely they're going to put something to help you get up there, because right now, you're not just going to be able to get up there. Probably going to either have a tunnel leading up to it or some ice in front that'll assist you. Uh, what do we got? Tunnels underneath here. Little pockets. Go through this one. I believe. Let's double check. No. So maybe this one. There is one. Yeah, so we have some tunnels that go through it, and then it leads to the top. But the top, like, there's no way to get out through this. Let's go in. That looks cool. That looks really cool. Like I said, can you just kind of envision a big base right there? I'm also wondering what they're going to put on top of this. And it goes all the way over there. I am still hoping they bring back the other mountaintop over here. If not there, maybe over there. Um, but with this, I mean, right now there's no way to get up here. Although I can jump down. But that's like, that's a long fall, right? <laughs> so... Let's get that off and that off. So we have that. I mean, just looking from the bottom, too, it looks cool. Because this was just open water. And let's go back to day. You can see this stuff. Now we get closer up here. Oh, I've got the sea monkeys out here. So yeah, I'm really excited about this part and what they've added. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section with this too. But yeah, it wraps around. I mean, we got a lot of these guys. Gets all the way close to the glacial basin. And I like the front of the glacial uh, wall here with that glacial connection. It just looks better now. But the same thing here with these textures, I think we're going to see that blended in much like right here. So I think eventually all of it's going to look more like this. Same thing with uh, the bottoms here. And once they do that too, it's going to look way more complete. Because I think right now it just kind of throws me off. But that is it. So those are the big ones um, with this. Curious to see what they add on top. Are we going to see? I think we'll see some of the penguins. But are we going to see snow stalkers up here? I mean, are we going to see like another base up here? Or... Um, Maybe just some remnants um, where we see some of the the boxes and maybe like a little radio station like this up there. I don't know. Um, maybe some other plants. But right now, just that initial part that they have I think looks awesome. And even right here, you can just literally walk up and then you can make your own base here. So pretty cool. All right, but that's going to be it for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.